You're watching 8-Bit Days a Week, and I'm going to be doing just a simple unboxing of the latest classic release. And this time it's Sega's entry, the Mega Drive Mini. This should be called Genesis Mini if you are in America. And uh, this is actually the Asian version. This is a bit different from the Japanese version. Uh, some games are exclusive to this. And um, if you can see the game list there, I actually chose this over, say, the Japanese or the American version because um, against the American version, this actually has the six button controller. Although one of the uses of that is for Street Fighter 2, which this does not contain, neither is Eternal Champions. So if you're a fighting game fan, I guess this isn't for you. It doesn't also contain the Virtua Fighter 2 or even the Yu Yu Hakusho that's found in the Japanese version. So, well, I hope um, this would have a like a mod soon to be able to add more games, kind of like how the NES Classic and the SNES classic are these days. So, all right, let's go ahead and try to. Um, all right. Uh, this actually isn't the first time I'm unboxing this thing. This was already opened up in the store for testing purposes. I guess it's really a mess right now. Anyway. Box aside, here is the manual. And, um, yep, thank you for purchasing. Okay, it's a bit in English. As you can see, the HDMI cable has been torn open already. That's fine. And this is, feels like a controller. All right. And there it is. Yep, I have no idea what this mode button is for. I know this exists in the original version, but I never figured out what's it actually for. So once again, I um, this is kind of smaller than the three button controller, despite having more buttons. And um, I'm actually a fan of this. Can't wait to try it out. I like I um, I got used to this layout. Even if I grew up with the SNES, and yeah, I never really had a Mega Drive when I was young. Uh, because it's the other controller. Okay, and um, here is the console. So here it is. Oh, it still has the. Oh, yeah, because we can open this. Let's see what it looks like inside. Let me remove this. Um, yep, nothing. <laughs> no, like fake pins or anything. A volume control, power, reset. Um, yeah, I don't think this volume control does anything. And the mic jack is covered. It's not real, I guess. And USB instead of, um, well, instead of uh, like what the um, NES uses, which is Nintendo's proprietary or the 8 pin, it's kind of, or was it 9 pin? I forgot. It's kind of common pin layout for controllers used for a lot of um, clones. And of course, the HDMI out and the DC in. Looks like it's still using a USB type, uh, the mini. 
the USB. Okay, so not much going. Um, I know there is uh, there they were like selling a mini Sega CD for design only, I guess, and the 32x you could actually combine them and uh, like a cartridge. Just so you could build your own tower of uh, power. And this is for comparison. Here it is with the NES. Almost uh, the same size, I guess. Actually, I think. A little emulation box. I guess they're they're all gonna come in the same size. Here's the chief rival, the SNES classic. And the PlayStation Classic. Now I don't have the Neo Geo or the Commodore, I mean the C64, so Sorry, I can't fit. Oh, there you go. Yeah, this thing is really zoomed in. But I don't. This, this is the farthest I can go. Anyway. There you go. All of them together. Nice. And uh, PC Engine or Turbo, Turbo Graphics coming soon. And alright. That's it for this uh, video actually, and like I said, it's just an unboxing. I expect the gameplay gameplay videos coming soon. Um, I'll probably trying out the controller as well for whatever other things we could do with it. Maybe on the PC again. Um, it's good that they included three controllers. Now let's see how this. Actually, how far does it go? I could just remove this. And for those curious, the exclusive games to the Asian version is uh, Alien Soldier, which makes it a lot worth it. Uh, Puyo Puyo which isn't really uh, that worth it because there's already another version of Puyo Puyo on the other releases. Outrun 2019 and uh, Shining Force 2 and Sword of Vermilion, a pair of uh, RPGs. Uh, okay, I cannot show <laughs> how long this is in the video but uh, it's significantly longer than the NES or any of them I think this is the longest <laughs> okay um, so that's it my thoughts on which you should buy um, I guess if you have like a nostalgic Attachment to, say, Earthworm Jim, Shinobi 3, Sonic Spinball, and Toe Jam and Earl, go ahead, go for the American version. And uh, they do sell uh, six-button controllers as well, so, you know, you may come with the three-button, but you can buy a six-button controller also as well. For the Japanese, um, I guess if you can read Japanese, go ahead and do pick that version because it has um, Musha Alest, which uh, shooter, and uh, Yu Yu Hakusho, the four-player fighting game. Oh, was it four-player? Oh, I think it was two. I can't remember. And those two make it a lot worth the price of admission and the thing is the other or the other games are really Japanese heavy so 
Yeah, like I mentioned, if you know Japanese, the Japanese version is all right. All right, so I guess this video went longer than I expected, and um, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.